Many modern fish have jaws. They have changed a lot over the centuries. Primitive fish have solid and immobile jaws that are attached to cranial bones. More modern derived fish have a highly mobile jaw joint because the maxilla detached from the cranial bones and the premaxilla elongated, overlapping the maxilla, which now acts as a lever to thrust the premaxilla forward, protruding the jaw. Now we will be observing how zebra dart fish feed in the saltwater tank. In case you were wondering what a zebra dart fish is, it's the little green guy. And then we're going to watch him eat in slow motion. Suction feeding and jaw protrusion go hand in hand. As a fish approaches prey, pressure in the buccal cavity increases due to an inward squeezing of the suspensorium and lifting of the mouth floor. When maximum pressure is reached, the mouth is open at a full gait because of the lower jaw depression and the cranium being lifted by the apaxial muscles. This movement of the mandible causes the maxilla to pivot forward and the premaxilla protrudes. This allows the fish to pull items in from as far away as 20 to 25% of the head length, and it increases the velocity by 40%. The pressure increases as the mouth is closed as everything moves in reverse, but the opercular valves and the brachiostegial valves are left open as the jaw closes so that water can leave. Then all the bones and the muscles return to the start position, ready to find the next prey. get a better idea and a closer look at what's really going on. So here we see the jaws opening, the mandible acting as a lever, pushing the premaxilla forward in full jaw protrusion. When the item is finally in the mouth, the mouth closes as its pressure increases and everything goes back to its original resting position. And now you can get an idea of what it would be like to be swallowed by a dead fish. The likelihood of it happening, however, is very slim. And now we will look and see what jaw protrusion looks like in a fish that feeds off the bottom of the ocean floor. As we have observed, jaw protrusion is highly variable and it comes in many different shapes and forms. Here we will be looking at the blue-green chromie which also utilizes suction feeding which increases suction pressure from 0 to 12 meters per second in as little as 2 to 3 seconds. It's a good thing that blue-green chromies are so small because the only thing that I think that could outswim a blue-green chromie sucking in its food at 12 meters per second is the little mermaid. 